Hello, friends. Welcome back. Today, we're going to avoid color blindness issues using by using sufficient contrast. Color is a large part of visual design, but it uses but but its use introduces two accessibility issues. First, color alone could not be used as the only way to convey important information because screen readers users don't see it. Second, foreground and background colors need sufficient contrast so colorblind users can distinguish them. Previous challenges covered having text alternatives to address the first challenge. The first challenge introduced contrast checking tools to help with the second. The WCAG recommended the contrast ratio of 4.5 to 1 applies to the color use as well as grayscale combination. Colorblind users have trouble distinguishing some colors from others, usually in hue, but sometimes lightness as well. You can recall the contrast ratio is calculated using the relative luminance or lightness values of the foreground and background colors. In practice, the 4.5 to 1 ratio can be reached by darkening the darker color and lightening the lighter one with the aid of a contrast checker. Darker colors on the, on the color wheel are, are considered to be blues, violets, magentas, and reds, whereas lighter colors are oranges, yellows, and greens, and blue-greens. CamperCat is experimenting with using color for his blog, text, and background, but his <clears throat> current combination of greenish background color and maroon text has a 2.5 to 1 contrast ratio. You can easily adjust the lightness of the colors since he declared them using CSS HSL property. This is the HSL properties here. So we've got the uh, font color is set to here and the background color is set to this HSL um, property. We can change them with the third argument. So this is the third argument, which is the, um, I think it's the hue or something, uh, with the third argument. So increase the background color lightness value from 35 to 55 and decrease the color lightness, the color lightness from 20 to 15. So we're changing this guy to 15 and we're changing this guy to uh, 55. Cool, and now our, our image, this is much easier to read now. And if we run the test, it should pass. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. We'll see you in the next lesson.